Welcome back to the channel. Um, a bit of a different one today. We're going to be fitting strobe lights and some new set of work lights, the big tractor here. Um, I'm not a professional electrician, but I have fitted some lights, uh, some strobes to the other, other tractor, which I'll show you later on if you want. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it while it's still light. As you can see on my temporary workbench here, we've got some fairly cheap work lights, but they seem alright. They've got waterproof, long, nice one, robust, like 1800 lumens. I haven't actually looked inside. Fairly big floodlight. How many bulbs has that got? Seven bulbs? Eight bulbs? Eight bulbs. To replace the old ones up there. If you can see them. Place the old ones up on top of there. Should look fairly smart. I'm on taking the cab off now. Um, uh, so we'll get up there. Roof off now. I've got all the bolts out here. I'm just undoing these little ones down here. And then I've popped these off. And we should just, in theory, be able to lift the roof off. And uh, then I'll be into all the electrics in the roof for fitting the new work lights and the beacon strobes, which I'm going to wire into the beacon wires that are already there, just to make it easier. Um, someone's already added lights onto the back of here, as you can see. Well, they've took the ones off the front and then added them onto the back. Well, I'm just trying to work out if there's actually a screw in there, but I don't think there is covered by that. Usually there's one here and then one in the back of here to hold this roof on. Um, but yeah, I'm stood quite precariously, so I don't want to be falling. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, get this roof off and I'll uh, report back. Right guys, as you can see, I've got the roof off, so I can access my work lights and all the wiring for them. See on both sides. Someone's already added these uh, blue bullet lights into the front, but we're gonna add more of them. Right guys, so I've got one of the old work lights off. I just need to get the other one off. You can see the like proper old fashioned square halogen things. I don't know why someone's decided to put them on the tractor, but they have. Um, I'm just on stripping the wires away, away to fit them now. And then I've already stripped the old wires down. I just need to do a bit more stripping of them because they were soldered on the ends. Um, and then I need to straighten out this bar because the old work lights had a swizzle on the back. See, they've got a swizzle on there. So they had to bend that old bar when they put them on. So I'm going to have to straighten this bar so these sit level. So they sit nice and level. Otherwise, they're gonna when I tighten them up, they're going to sit on an angle like that. So it's just not going to look right. Right, guys. So as you can see, I have got the white wired, wired in. It is working. They are very, very bright. Very, very bright. Um, I've got them wired. For some of these will probably diss my wiring because it isn't the best, but I haven't got connectors and I tried to be using the old ones, but they're pretty, pretty damaged. Like they've been used before. Uh, the person who wired them up was a very good wire though. I've got to say, they're, they're fairly professionally done. And they've done these bullet light strobes up here fairly well as well. I'm gonna check the connections on here though, um, because one of these, this one, up here doesn't work um so yeah i'll we'll uh wire this off on them properly and then we'll take these off take these brackets off and we'll straighten them up and hopefully all going well it should all work right so this this one was a fairly easy fix all i had to do was take these out clean them off and uh yes yeah, they're working a dream now We've got two working blue bullets. I'm gonna get two more to go. There'll be one in there, and the other one in there. And then I'm gonna put some blue strobes in the mirrors on each side. But yeah, I'm fairly impressed with that. That was an easier fix. I was expecting them to go right back into that wire and loom right away in the back of there and having to look at connections and that. But no, it was just up here. So that was fairly handy. Right, so I've got both wired in. So we're gonna turn them all off, take them off, just leave them up in the cab. And I'll uh, take these little bit of metal brackets off and I'll go over in the vise and I'll straighten them. And hopefully, we'll get them straight. We'll be able to uh, leave the top B and get right down into the bonnet and uh, start wiring in the orange strobes. And then we'll put the blue ones in last. So uh, I'll see you over the road. Right, so the plan is, I've got it in the vise. Mind the dirty workshop at the moment, like, but got it in the vise, the plan is, Get the adjustable and hopefully like that that will hopefully bend up fairly well straight i'll do it a bit off camera so i can get it bang on 
Right, so I've got it. I think as good as I'm gonna get it. It's not that bad. But it's still got a little kink in it. But I think that's as good as I'm gonna get this one. So I'll do the other one off camera. I hate to end up squeezing it in the base like that. Which actually worked better than bending it with the thing. But uh, we'll do this one off camera and then we'll get back over the road and fit the work place properly. Alright, so we've got them both straight. We'll uh, get back over the road, get these work lights on, then we'll move on to strobes. Right, well, they put a bit more putting on than I thought. I need to go back and bend the bracket a little bit more, and twist it so they're in sat level, because obviously they don't have the swivel bottoms on them like the old lights did. But I think they look quite nice up there. Looks like a completely different animal now, really. Bright is out as well, they're lighting up this shed. My workbench is getting a bit dirty like, but stay to the art, as you can tell. Um, but now we're gonna pop up the grill. I'll put my orange strobes in. And then... Right guys, so as you can see, I've got my holes drilled now for the strobe. It's these middle ones I'm always nervous about drilling, because if you drill it wrong, you've got a, what, like a 22 mil hole in your grill. But I think that should be about right. Hopefully. These strobes are off Amazon. They're quite, I think they're 30 pound for four, which isn't too bad. Orange 12, they've got many different flash modes, but I'd leave them on the first flash mode because I'm not installing switches in cabs. But they are fairly decent size. But they don't look too bad on the grill. I'll see if I've got a video of um, my other tractor with them on. They actually look quite nice um, when they're on. And the first flashing stage is just like a continuous flash. So it's like on, off, on, off. And they've got a sink wire. I think that's the white one. It's the sink wire. And uh, yeah, we'll get these put on. And then we'll get the other one put on and then the wiring's fairly easy it's not too difficult once you know what you're doing so uh yeah we'll do that now right so that's the first one on and before you say it it is not on level it follows the curve so that's why it's bigger there it's smaller there um i'm gonna put the nuts on the back and then we'll measure it out measure the gap there measure the gap there and do the same on this side and height obviously and whatever not but uh, yeah, we'll get that done. And then the wiring, yeah, it's fairly simple. So uh, this will take me half an hour to get all this done, probably three quarters of an hour. Wiring takes the longest though. So uh, we'll get on with that and I'll show you some on camera. Right, so I'm on in the wiring now. I'm gonna wire white to white, because that's synchronized, so they flash together in the same time. And obviously my red is my positive, black's negative. And then the yellow is the switch mode, but I'm going to leave that with the cap on and just fold it back because I don't need that because I'm not wiring a button into switch mode, so they just stay on one mode. Um, and then I wire it up through this harness, just cable tight to the harness, down into the back of there, and then down, out underneath the cab, and it goes up that side pillar, up out the top, and then uh, into the cab. But we'll uh, get these wired together, get my wire run down, and it'll be job sorted. Right, so I'm just wiring this reel of wire down through the bottom of here, like so. But it's been a bit, it's getting stuck halfway down, but I'm not sure what it's getting stuck on. But these pillars are different to the six series New Orleans because they've got a slight curve in them. So hopefully if I keep threading, it might thread down. There we go, it's going down now. You just gotta, take the slack right out of it hold it up and it does just like well, does it never does it on camera why does it never do it on camera it should just drop it dropped down through before no bother right i've been struggling to get my cable to go down through here so my plan was just put a spanner on the end and hopefully if i pull this spanner i should pull the bale twine down through and hopefully because i've got that end other end tied to the cable hold on i'll knot it up at the top Right, I've unknotted that top end. So hopefully, if I keep pulling this, oh fuck, it's got, oh, it's gone tight now, hold on. Oh, I have a funny feeling I'm just pulling rope through now. Oh no, A up, look at that, hell. There we go, so we'll just pull that down under the ear somewhere, and then up in the bottom of the ear, up through the top of wiring harness, and job sorted. So, uh, should be good. Right, so I'm on cutting into my beacon wire now. I'm stood precariously again on the back of the tractor. But, as you can see, 
cut into it. See, it comes out the bottom of the plug there. Cut into it, and then my other wire for my strobes is this one here. So I just need to strip the ends of that. I've got four core, but I only need to use two of the cores for this one. So I'll use red and brown. And then I'll just twist all the ends of these and then twist them all together and it should be okay. There's been someone doing some quite nice wiring in the back of here. There's plugs and everything. And they'll live in when they added the CBs and the extra lights. And I think this has been added at some point because it's got a different plug on to this side over here. So I think it's only been a one beacon tractor and they've added one on. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, do this off camera because it's kind of hard hanging onto the back of the tractor while I'm trying to screw some stuff together in the dark. So uh, yeah, I'll do it off camera and then uh, I'll come back and I should have some working strobes. So. Right, I've got to say, this is the most shoddiest wiring I've done just because it's so thick cable, but I'll try my best. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it all up with insulation tape after we've checked it works because I did that last time and then rookie mistake, it didn't work and I had to unwrap it all. But uh, we'll have the big reveal now. The big reveal. Hold on. Oh, you can't see yet. There we go. Strobe's in. Job done. That looks mint. All the new lights for this evening. I'm gonna have to get a new bulb for that far side beacon. It's a bit dim. But other than that, she's looking good. When we get the blue strobes in the wing mirrors, she will look very nice. So, uh, all good. Right, that's all for tonight. I'll come back tomorrow night and we'll wire in them blue ones up there. And then that'll be all sorted. I think she's looking quite smart, you know. The new work lights will make a hell of a difference when we're spreading slurry with it. Because you can barely see when we're spreading in the dark. So she, yeah, she'll look all right, I think. See you tomorrow night. Right, so we've got the mirror backs off now. We've got the mirrors out of them. So uh, we're going to put the strobe this way up. We're debating which way it'd look better, but I think it'd look better this way, obviously, because the mirror's longer that way. Um, and we're just going to wire it along the pole, cable play it on, or put it through, and just wire it straight up into the cab and into the side lights, which are up in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'll drill two holes, measure it all up, drill two holes, and then hopefully the strobe will just screw in, fingers crossed. So uh, I'll get back to you once I've drilled my holes. All right, so I uh, just did it all off camera because so I thought it'd be easier. So I've drilled them all. They look quite good, I think. I'm trying to work out whether they're two different sides of mirrors. I don't think they are, but they just don't look right. But they're in the same place. So I think they're two different mirrors. So uh, this one's got more curved bottom, whereas this one's got a square. But they're both in the same spot, so it should look all right. But yeah, we'll get them on now. I was thinking of drilling a hole in the back of here so I can get the cable out. Right guys, so I have found my side light wire. I know the coloured wires, so uh, and that's the same as what's down in the side light, but also it says here. So I've had to cut them to join into them, so I've wound them all. And then where's the other half? And I've got my wires wound up up here for my to connect both strobes together. So all we do is wire these onto the black and the red on here, and then we just wire the green back together. Um, I probably shouldn't have cut the green, but yeah, we'll uh, just well, well the green will always be longer than these two. So I just thought I'd cut it all together and then just rejoin them all properly. Um, and then we'll just put the backs and the mirrors back on. Took all that wire away into the back and hopefully I'll wrap all up with tape first and then tuck the wires back and hopefully that'll be it done. It hasn't taken too long. I only started this this morning. Right, so that's it all wired in. It's a bit ugly, but uh, it's the best I could do. I've cut these blue bullets, cut the wire for them and wired them into the side lights as well because they were wired into the work lights, but now I've put the new bright LED work light on. You can't see the blue past here because it's about here. So you get blinded by that and can't see the blue. So if they're all wired in together, it should be all right. And I'll just remove this, there's a big master plug in the back. So I'll just unplug this wire out the back of master plug and then uh, it should be all right. 
but yeah, I think it'll be fairly good. But uh, we'll, we'll check these work out, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they do, and then we can just tape it all up, put it back together, and it'll be job sorted. So uh, we'll do the big reveal now. If I can climb down here, one-handed. If they don't, I will be severely disappointed. Mind the state, this tractor is used to spread the slurry so it gets a bit dirty. Right, we'll turn her on. Side lights. Beacons are on as well, I think. No, no. Ready? Big reveal. There we go. Both. Oh, I'll have to change the pattern on them so they're not flashing. But other than that, we'll see if we can change the pattern now. You just tap this yellow against the black, and I think. That should work. He says, as it doesn't work. There we go. See? I want a solid. There we go. That's that, that one done. Hopefully. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I'll have to change that other one separately. I'll do that off camera. I've just fell off and hit the gate. Um, but yeah, that's them done now. They should look all right. And the blue ones are working up top as well. So yeah. Fairly impressed with that whole situation. So uh, yeah, I'll get all this. Roof put back on, mirrors put back on, and everything should be sorted. Yeah, that's quite good that. I'm impressed. So that is this done. New beacon strobes in the front, new work lights. New blue lights. If you want to see more of this type of content, like mechanic in and putting in lights and electricals, just uh, comment. If you want to see more of the farming side of things, I'm not bothered. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.